In this interactive guide, you'll learn how to migrate users' Windows Known folders to OneDrive. You'll see how to ensure Windows Known folders, such as desktop, pictures, and documents, are backed up to the cloud and how to make them accessible from any device while allowing users to continue to work with these familiar folders as they always have. This guide assumes that the OneDrive Sync client has already been installed and is syncing on devices in your organization. To navigate this interactive guide, follow the prompts on the screen or use your forward and back arrows. To get started, let's take a look at this user's documents folder. Open File Explorer and then click or tap Documents. Like many people, this user has a number of locally saved files. These can include documents, pictures, screenshots, and more. Next, let's see which of these files is synced to OneDrive. In this case, none of them are. That means this user can access her files only from this PC. If anything happens to it, she might lose everything. Let's see what we can do to change that. This is the Enterprise Domain Controller. In a moment, you'll see how to use Group Policy to manage OneDrive. But first, we need to install the OneDrive Sync Client on this server to obtain the administrative template files we'll need. Follow the prompts to see how. Navigate to the installation folder we just downloaded to find the administrative template files. Follow the prompts to copy the two administrative template files so that we can paste them in two different locations. Next, navigate to the central store on the domain controller. Open the Policy Definitions folder. Paste the administrative template files into the Policy Definitions folder. You also need to create an appropriate language subfolder if one is not already present. Paste the files here as well. Now we're ready to configure group policy settings for OneDrive. To get started, Navigate to Group Policy Management in Server Manager. First, create a new Group Policy Object, or GPO, to manage OneDrive settings. Next, let's edit the GPO. In the Group Policy Object Management Editor, navigate to the settings for the administrative templates for OneDrive. Let's edit the setting that prompts users to move Windows Known folders to OneDrive. This setting prompts users to move their documents, pictures, and desktop folders to OneDrive. Select Enabled. Next, you must provide your tenant ID. Follow the prompts to see how to find that value in Azure Active Directory.
The information you need is listed here under Directory ID. Copy the ID to the clipboard and return to the Group Policy Management Editor. Now paste the ID here and click or tap OK. Once you enable this setting, users will see a window that prompts them to move their Windows Known folders to OneDrive. If they close the window, a reminder notification will appear in the Activity Center until they move them. You can also prevent users from redirecting their known folders back to their PC. Let's enable it. Let's look at another setting. Enable OneDrive Files On Demand to help save storage space on your users' computers and minimize the network impact of sync. Let's look at an option to silently move Windows Known folders. You might use this setting to move your users' Windows Known folders to OneDrive without requiring their interaction. In this case, let's not enable this setting. Here's another setting to look at. This prevents users from moving their Windows Known folders to OneDrive. This setting is for administrators who don't want to enable this functionality at all in their organization. For the purposes of this guide, we don't want to enable this setting. Close the editor window. The next step is to link the GPO to the domain. Follow the prompts to see how. Let's confirm that the GPO is linked. This new OneDrive policy is now enabled throughout the organization. Now let's start over with a second method for redirecting and moving Windows Known folders to OneDrive for Business using Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. Let's see how it works. First, open Compliance Settings. Select OneDrive for Business Profiles. Now let's create a new OneDrive for Business profile that can be used to configure the appropriate Known Folder Move settings. Follow the prompts to complete the profile information. Now, select the platforms that will be provisioned with this OneDrive for Business profile. As before, provide the Office 365 Tenant ID. You can also control some of the same settings you saw in the Group Policy object, such as how you would like to move the known folders to OneDrive. Let's prevent users from redirecting their Windows known folders back to their PC. The profile has been created successfully. Now, let's deploy the new profile to the desired collection of computers. Let's deploy to all user groups. Now click or tap OK to enable this OneDrive profile in your organization. Now let's switch back to the end user experience to see what that looks like. Here's the notification asking users to move their Windows known folders to OneDrive. All they have to do is click the Start Protection button. They can review the sync progress if they choose. Now, let's look at this user's OneDrive account online. As you can see, the Windows known folders have all been synchronized to OneDrive. They are now protected in the cloud and accessible from any device. You've just learned how to ensure Windows known folders are backed up to the cloud and how to make them accessible from any device while allowing users to continue working with these familiar folders as they always have. Thanks for watching.